Hey folks, it's Rithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to City Skylines, and for those of you who are wondering, and if this is the first episode you've seen of me this week, yes, I have an absolutely stinking cold this week, so the episode's going to be a bit shorter than usual, and a bit croakier than usual. Hopefully though, that is going to be the only differences. So, what I would like to do today is, I did say that I wanted to do something over here with Nigel Pipe, and this whole zone over here, um, I don't really want to be throwing asteroids into this zone anymore, so I sort of figured that we want to do something a little bit different in order to be able to keep it moving a bit better and keep the traffic flowing. Uh, one thing I do want to do here a second is I want to go to traffic routes, I want to go to junctions, and I'll take that off there, and I want to put a stop sign on there. Right. That's the only difference I want to make on that. And then if I go to that, there. So that should just help that to keep moving. This here should also be much the same. I think we had to change that as well when we... Oh, no, that's the stop sign now. That's fine. That can stay there. Right. Get rid of that and that. There. So, I wanted to change Nigel Pipe around a bit, and I was wondering whether I should have somewhere that's, like, you know, lift it up a bit or lower it down, and I'm thinking that we will lower this right down and then put in a load of um, incineration plants in there. So we've got just a hole in the ground that's going to be pumping out a load of pollution, but generally can't be seen. Figured that was a pretty good way of doing it, that it's not really going to upset hundreds of people, and I think it could work. Um, there are a few more zones that I would actually like to make first, because I kind of figure I want to get a zone in this map, one for everybody that is currently in the Great Book of Names. So I'm going to just add in a few more. I'm going to do one here in front of the dam. It's going to be a zone here because I was thinking of adding in a few extra bits here. So I'm just going to put that sort of in there. And then I'm not actually sure where else I was going to put zones. You, I can. It looks like I can only actually put active zones in areas inside the original build area. I can't go outside into the um, the bits that have been unlocked by additional mods. So we've just got a load of zones here and I mean I can work with that. There's something that we can work on. I've got all of these up here. I'm going to do a massive area up here of commercial zoning and probably some more industrial land as well. We do want to put more industrial land over here so I'm going to put some extra zones down here first. Right, there's a few more that's been added in. We've got Matt Cedars, Phil Bannister, Mad Alex Gaming 34, Udo Mega, Major, Mega, I can never remember. He did tell me, you know, I can't remember. Kalen Peters, Eric King, Alexander Lewis, 1977, Rugrat, and Yannick. That is, everybody added in. I think that's actually, we've got every single person who is on our list now has got their own district. 1977 Rugrat has got two. He's on the list twice. I did explain that previously. There are a couple of other people who are on the list twice who've got slightly different names um, who've supported me on Patreon and have also earned a place by contributions to the channel through um, other means. Um, and I think we've also got a couple of people who have now been mentioned twice because it's just sort of come back round to them again. Uh, anyway, doesn't really matter. Everybody's on here. Everybody now has a place on the map. We've got our waters. They're all flowing wonderfully. It's all coming into this lake. It's coming through into the main lake over here. We've got... Um, we don't actually have any flooding. We've got this one over here. It was having some issues with other things, but it's not flooding. So we don't have any flooding on the lake at all. No flooding here at all. It's coming over to the dam, and the water from the dam is flowing out. We get 688 megawatts coming out of that one. The water flowing down the river, it's got enough of a pinch point on the river in various places that we're not got any issues from it. This lake here is not changing at the moment. It is slowly drying up, and I'm curious what's going to happen with that. That might end up being an empty gorge. And I don't mind that. I think that could work out alright just being an empty gorge. Now, we've got a load of forestry over on this side. And I'm sort of thinking that we will add in now some more industrial area. Because we've got demand for industrial area at the moment. So if I fill in a bit of this here for some industrial zoning. Like that. And then I'm going to do the same down here. Except I'm just going to do it of along the ends and then go up to this one it's just so that I can get power and 
Let's say power and water. Have I not got water on those bits? I need to check the pipe work. I'll have to go and check the pipes a minute and just double check that those are all exactly where they should be. And we're going to fill in all of these little areas here. Keep all of them running. And that's all doing good down there. And then that little bit there. We need to worry about any more of that. Right, that's looking pretty good. So now I can switch over to the water. And yes, we do have a big area without water down through here. So if I bring that up, connect that in up to there. And then we can just run some lines straight down here. And just very quickly fill in the last couple of areas on that bit. Another one up there. I'll tell you what, that's not, not far off. We'll bring one out that way and up there. Right. That's everything joined in there. We've got water and power will be along shortly once it fills in those areas. And that will be the industrial land taken care of. So the next thing that I want is a bit more commercial zoning. And I was going to sort of start it from here and put in a train station or two. I was actually thinking put in a couple of them. I did have it suggested that I could put a bigger train station here so that this, um, these trains could flow through a little bit easier, but I've decided against doing that. I'm just going to leave it like this. I quite like the whole spaghetti junction thing that we've got going on with the trains, and I'm thinking they are. They do seem to be flowing all right. Mostly going, you know, there's very few stops now with the spaghetti junction thing that we've got going on. They do seem to be able to get round everywhere that they need to go without anything queuing up and causing any problems. Um, I don't know if we've got any issues over here. I don't think we do. It all seems to go pretty well. Occasional um, stop along here, maybe, with the traffic. We'll see how it works out with the traffic later on when we've got more traffic coming through as some of the industrial land starts to fill up. But uh, that's something that we'll worry about later. So those are doing okay over there, which means that we want to come over to this side, and we've got already the crossroads here on the tracks. But what we don't have over here is we've got a multi-platform end station. Twelve platforms. Each platform has separate tracks, allowing passengers to change lines with ease. I don't really care about passengers being able to get on and off the trains. I mean, I, mean, I suppose I could add one of these in. And then put in a whole load of um, passenger trains onto this. It could be an interesting exercise trying to get this one set up. And if we're going to do it, we want to sort of plonk it down somewhere that's going to be easy. Um, but it's, all it's going to be is just multiple trains and then they can sort of go wherever they want. I, I'm not actually planning to do anything extra on top of that. So... I'm sort of thinking, no, I wasn't, I'm, I'm not going to worry about it. What I'd really like to do is I want some of these, and I don't just want one or two, I want quite a lot of them. I'm going to say have three or four of them around this area, just because I think that they might be handy. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to get a piece of road coming off of this one right here. And what I want to do that with is I want a cloverleaf intersection. One of these... Because this one, in theory, should allow traffic to go in every which direction. I think you can go on here. You can go any direction you want to. That's the, that's the theory with the cloverleaf. So if I can get one of those up and running, I'm going to need to cut this all the way out here and down here as well. And then we'll turn this whole intersection into a cloverleaf one rather than a standard one through that. There we go. Get rid of all of those. And then if I can bring that one up, so just right click and move it over a little bit. I reckon we'll have the bridge going that way. I'll bring that one up over a little bit. Zoom out a bit. I want to go put it fasten onto there. It won't let me fasten it onto there. So if I bring that back there, I'm going to drop that one down into there like that. Now I want to go to you and to that one. So I'm going to just move a bit more of this so that we can get the curve of the land to flow just a little bit more easily. Take you and bring you out like that so it wants to go that sort of direction and then join in there like that. Perfect. And then I can bring that one out 
and that'll flow a little bit like that and then it will join on to here except that I don't know why it's done that it does that sometimes it sort of goes a little bit strange there that'll join into there that's pretty straight that's the straight enough I don't think we need to worry about that so then we can go from here we're going straight that way yeah that's that's got a little bit too much of a kink on it that has I think we need to change that so if we cut you back and cut you back there like that we'll be able to just move that in and it's just so that it flows a little bit better it's only got to move out a little tiny bit that's going to be too much like that because then it'll go too much the other direction actually I think that's going to be all right and that one can just go over there that's that's a lot straighter on that side just because of the the hill I think on the two sides now bring that one out join you in there let's not worry about that one too much join that one in there okay so now I've got it so that traffic can come in this way and it can go out that way or it can go up here come round, and go back up over so the cloverleaf intersection does work perfectly all traffic can go all ways so next I'm gonna bring this highway up there just a little bit further and also on that side like that and then we've got to do the upgrade and right click those so that they turn around and then we will go Disconnected power grids. Oh, they're still down over here. That's still that bit down there, isn't it? Oh, it's this bit up here somewhere. Um, no, then we want to go to this one, and I want some six lane with decorative trees. And I'm going to put some of that one here. We're going to go with straight road here. I'm going to put a piece. Little safe. There we go. Right, that one can go out to there. And then, right, now this is the thing. I want several train stations, and I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do this. I think I'm going to have one along here, one over there, one there, one there, two there, and two on that side. I'm going to have loads of them. They're all going to be um, big train stations. They're all going to be uh, commercial train stations, industrial Cargo. Cargo is the word I'm looking for. Cargo. That's the one, that's the one we want. Right, so we'll bring that one down there like that. It's going to go like that and it's going to join in there. And then I'm going to do another one on this side and that's going to join along there like that. And then I'm going to take one there and this one's going to go like that. And one up there. And then I'm also going to put one on this side as well. Right, so there's all of the basic roads laid out for it. So next up, we want to bring this one over here. Page up. So we'll join up to there. That's got to go higher still. Actually, I don't want to do that. If I take you out a minute, and then we go back into this one, and I go like that, I can bring that up to there. And this is where we'll start using the curved road, actually. I'll bring you out like that, and... Bring up to that point. That'll go there, and then it'll join back down onto that one. Perfect. So there's that first connection that we've got on there. I want this here to be a crossroad. It's going to be a full crossroads here, and it's going to come up from that angle. So I'll bring that one up there. That'll go to that point. It's going to go straight across. Well, almost straight across. We'll bring it back down to here like this. And that's actually going to... We'll, we'll bring this one here in a curve over that way and then join it into there. And then this one here can join into that one with the crossroads right there, with a T-junction. And I'm going to go back this way. Let me just position out a few more of these while I have another coughing fit. Now that one's going to come over there. And then we're going to do a bridge right across both of those like that. And then it's going to come back down again and join into that road down there. I've got a road going across up onto that one. We've got the T-junction down here. 
This one down here is going to carry straight on out from here. And it's going to get to about this point here. And then we're going to raise that one up by just a little bit. And that's going to go across the main road right here like this. And it's going to come back down. It's going to go down to there. And then I'm not going to have a... Actually, I could even put a station on this bit here as well. So we'll do that there. And then I'll take a piece of straight road onto there. And then we go back to our curvy road, which will go out that way. And then that's going to come up to somewhere over here. And it's going to go across like that. And we're going to have a little bit of a bridge just going across there so that it can join in with the rest of the city over there on that smaller road. Which I'm thinking does actually now warrant an upgrade. But I don't think I can because I think I've got some other buildings here. So let's just get rid of that a minute. What's this one? That's the police station. So you and shop to do drop center. Home improvement centers. I think it's just the police station. What's that? Uh, Neptune. Two Neptune media stores. Home of the stuff. The stuff home. Right. So let's uh, move you a minute. I can't put you out there. But I can... Just dump you in there a second so that I can upgrade this road over here. And this is going to now go to six lane with trees. It's going to be ever so beautiful and wonderful and nice and everybody's going to love it. So we're going to do that. And there's one that I can't upgrade. It's because of that one there. So we'll move that one over a minute. Um, see if I come off of the road and then I go to you. Crematorium. We'll move that crematorium to that location right there and then we'll take this police station again and we'll bring that one back over here where it was roughly previously there and then we should now be able to upgrade the rest of this road yes I can like that and I can upgrade down to there I'm not gonna upgrade this at the moment down to here because there's no point because that dam is a narrow road anyway so we only want to upgrade it as far as this road right here. Uh, but what I will do is I will fill in high density commercial zoning for the rest of this area here that we've got coming out of town. Just coming out along this edge bit here. We'll do that bit to there and we'll go up as far as the river. Just there. Um... Do a couple of extra bits there, right onto that edge. So then I can go to the water, and it would be a good idea if we gave this area here a little bit of water. So we give them some juice like that. And they should be able to connect up for electricity and power, so that will be okay. That'll be just fine on there. So, so far, the only road access we've got is down here. I will be joining in some more. We've got this road that goes all the way out to here. So next, I want to turn that one into a loop that's going to come this way. And that's going to come out. No, it's going to go out 180. And then it's going to come over this way here. Down there. And we'll lift it slightly. Go across the main road. Back down. Like that. Right. So now we're down into this area down here. And that's going to come down to there. And then around this piece along there bring it to that point and then I'm going to raise that one up to there and it's going to go across those three and then join back down into there so we've got another sort of connection so we've got a loop that goes all the way round on there now and we'll join it we'll have several more pieces that we'll join in and loop together as we connect this all up so next up we need our main part main entrance really coming into the town um, or into this part of town. Uh, before I do that, I'm going to put this one here. And I'm going to put another bridge on here. At all. Lower down there. This one's going to go this way. It's going to come out that side. And then it's going to go there like that. The curve up. Bring it that way. And then about there, I reckon. And then join in up there onto that piece. We will also do a quick 
join across this piece here. There, so we've got a little, just like a little block that goes around that bit, but there's like an extra join on there. And then I want to go to this one, and I'm just going to take the three-lane highway. I put that one into there, and that'll join in on that side. And then we take one out of that side, and we do that as over as tight as we can, like that. And this is a slightly tricky bit. There we go. That'll join in. That's good enough. There. So that's joined in. So we've now got... Everything is now able to connect in. You can all join in onto all of it. We've got connections all the way through. That runs down to here. That then runs into this part of town down here. We've got a lot of abandoned buildings in this part of town. We're on 72,000 people at the moment. And that will eventually alter and change. We'll get more people coming in. We'll get less people coming in. We'll get more again. And you know how it goes. It sort of goes in cycles. And the cycles seem to work fairly well. So we've got this bit so far. That's, that's, that's where we're up to at the moment. So then, it's cargo stations. Now, this is the big bit that I want. I want lots of cargo stations. So I'm going to have two on that road there. And I'm also going to put two on this road here. And what I'm hoping is, by doing this, I'm not going to have any one cargo station that's like taking all of it. And it might, just might, make life a little bit easier for all of the trains running to and fro. Um, of course, you know what's probably going to happen with this game is that they are all, all traffic, all train traffic, absolutely every single little bit of it is going to go through one station. Uh, there is going to be no alternatives. It's just going to go through one single solitary station and there will be no other option. So I'm going to put that one to go up to there. And then this one here is going to come out. Hang on. I'm going to do it like that. That's going to go and connect into there over there. And then we're also going to do that one. Like that. There. And then this one. Here. Like that. So it sort of can, it crosses over the two. They can both go through and both go whichever way they want. So they can go out. That can all go in the direction it needs to go. This one here. Into there and another one over that way. There, that'll go up onto the bridge. And then we can do some more over this side. So we'll bring that one out there and that will join down into there. And then it'll do the same out on this side like that. And then the same for you. You can go down onto there. And you onto there like that. I've no idea if this is going to work out in a positive way or a completely negative way. It could it could go either way for us, really. Um, I've never really tried anything like this before. So put that one into there. And then I want another one from this point up to you up there. That one's going to come out like that, down onto there. So all trains can go to all stations and go in all directions. We just want a couple more up here. I want one on there, and I want one on that side as well. And then I can take that train and put you into there. And we'll also do the same out of that one. That one's going to come out there, and that's going to go in up there like that. And then we'll do the same down here. And into there. And you out. Join into there like that. Right. Were there any more that I needed to join up? Those are all doing good up there. These are fine. Those are all good. Um, I've got a way for... They can go from here. They go up. They go round onto that one. They can go that way. Or they can go back this way. So they can literally go any direction they want to on these tracks exactly as they are just in order to make this run a little bit easier one thing I am going to do is I'm going to do that and I'm going to put actually I don't want to do that at all get rid of that no what I want to do is I want to bring one out there but I just want it to come out a little ways uh Right, no, I'm going to need to bring it back from here, aren't I? That's where it's got to come out. It's going to come out like that. 
and then it can come in underneath underneath this bridge. Problem is that bridge. Ah, I see what I've done. I see what I've done. I just need to move that out a little bit so that we can go out past that bridge there. We'll take you out. I'll bring you back to this point. We'll bring you over to here. There we go. Run you under there. Bring you round and just put that one straight across there. So now they can go out of both of those stations and they can go straight up here. They want to, instead of having to go down and round this way, it might help the trains just to run a little bit smoother. We'll see. I don't know if we need that on, on there or not. So there's that first bit done. Now, in order to get all of these still running properly, we've got one main road that comes in here. Um, I mean, we've got the highways. They do connect up the whole of the rest of the city. Plus, we've now got this six-lane road that comes in here. That also connects them up. That's a really good thing. So the next thing that I do want to do is I'm going to need... I'm losing seven grand a day at the moment. Uh, oh, no, a week. A week. Um, no, the next thing I want is some water. So we're going to need to run... I'm actually going to need to put water out across this whole area here. I'm going to bring it all the way back down to there. There's a little point in sort of messing around with this. We'll just run it up like this. And I can just do straight lines all the way across like that. Kind of, kind of hope that it's roughly in the right place all the way up through. There we go. So yeah, it's, it's, it's not going to be brilliant all the way through, but it, it, it's roughly in the right place. There's another one, and that one can go up to there. Last little bit up here in the corner. It'll let me do it. I'll have to do it like that, just on this corner. And one piece there into there, and then we've got one little join there to go across that. So I've done everything on this side. We've got water all the way down through there. Now all I need to do is the same over on this side. So we want to put a line of pipes up to there and across like that. And then well, I'll, st I'll start from down this end and I'll, I'll just sort of carry on with what I was doing. We go all the way across like this. And it's going to actually be a little bit quicker this time because I can just... Nope. Oh, it says it's going to be quicker. You can join in on the edge of each of them. And just carry that pipe on all the way across. Just to make it a little bit quicker than it was when I did it the first time when you didn't watch me. There we go. Right, we've now got water across the entire area. And there is a lot of water down there. Masses and masses of it. Or there would be if we were actually using water. So I'm not going to worry about the power to the stations at the moment. Did say I wanted to do something here, but I'm not actually going to worry about that today. We've got no flooding anywhere now. We've thus, The bank there is holding. That's doing really well. This in here has dried out quite a bit. So it's, it's doing all right, but it's not great. Now down here, we've got a few issues with um, dead people waiting for transport. For the most part, though, it's, it's doing all right. Um, we've got the odd abandoned building up in here, but I'm not deleting abandoned buildings. I don't want to get rid of any of them. We're just going to let them take care of themselves so people can come along and they can buy them back as and when they want to. And I'm sort of hoping that that's going to work out well for them. This is still pumping out 512 megawatts. That's not really changed very much. Um... The level of the water, this is now sort of settled down. You know, it was like slopping up near the very tops of the wall all the way along. But now it's eased itself out and we've got like the new level has now been properly set right across the entire map. And it works really well. This is, this is done really well. And also with our bridges, I mean, yeah, if we were to go back through and change the height once more raise up that height in there so that we get yet more water coming out all the way through here um, which is something I do want to do by the way I, I will just point out that that is something I am planning to do but I will most likely rather than doing it out that way I'll most likely do it here we'll put the water source back in the lake over here and I'll raise this one up because I'm curious although I do think that what's going to happen is that it's going to change the direction of flow on the river over here which it's probably going to be not great. It's going to cause issues down here. We could have the entire city flooding. Um, I will do it faster next time. We'll um, we'll have a stronger brush. So I don't spend quite so long sort of messing around with the banks. Mostly it's got to be like rebuilding the bridges and so on. 
Wait a minute. Why have I... Why have I got a tidal wave coming in? No one said anything about a tidal wave. I didn't even have a warning. Did you see a warning come up? Because I don't remember seeing a warning come up. Activate shelters. I never had no warning. Where on earth did that come from? <laughs> okay, I love the fact that I've just... The Coast Guard is warning of a tsunami approaching the area. Residents should avoid <laughs> roads and waterfronts. A tsunami has... <laughs> Take caution and avoid roads and waterfronts until the water recedes. Okay, yeah, um... Nice one with the with the tsunami warning there. Um, that's really made the difference to the whole city surviving that one. Genuinely, genuinely made a huge difference to everybody involved. And we all appreciate your efforts. We really, really do. We, we would not have survived this massive, terrible, terrible disaster without your help. That's fantastic. We got a proper tidal wave coming in this time. Like an actual tidal wave, which is a lot better than what we've had previously, because last time we had a tidal wave that was in a puddle that had formed over here on one of the streets. I think one of the kids ran through and caused a tidal wave to sort of slop over the side of one edge of a pavement there somewhere. Uh, but that, that right there, that is some wall of water, and it's still going up. So that is going to affect the districts up here a little bit. What do we got here? Is it... Um, no. Just wondering if it's going to tell me what sort of force the tsunami had. Or anything like that. Um, disaster detection service to get more information. Oh, so I need, I need a, a better disaster detection service for that one. So we haven't really, oh, I, I do have to do a power state, uh, the power station. I do have to a do some more trains. tsunami has struck the city. Take caution and avoid roads and waterfronts until the water recedes. Just gonna join that in there, and then this one here. This is going to be a bridge across there. Just gonna come out of there like that, or at least that's what I was hoping. There, we have a bridge. Perfect. And that will then join into there. So that'll go across the top of that one. That'll actually come out of there quite nicely. I like that. Right, and so we got that last little one there. We've still the, the water is still racing upstream, but for the most part, the floods have receded. They haven't really caused us any problems. They, they, it's not even impacted the river here at all. We had a little bit of flooding over here. This, this is the only bit really that has caused us any problems. We've got a really low-lying point right there that we can't really do a great deal about, and it looks like the flood came in across the land here a little bit. Came up across there, across the Hanstaga district. Um, Tonsa Tube here had a bit of flooding. Jempy and Marcus Crawford are both underwater at the moment. It's going to take a little while for the waters there to recede. But they are flowing backwards. They are receding now. We've got a tiny wave up there. Beyond that, there's no real lasting damage. The only issue I've got right here is that there is still water flowing in across this. But it's now... I mean, you look at this. You, you can see that 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 wave is minimal at at best, minimal at best. But anyway, that's all I got time for today. My voice is going to give up if I try to do too much more, so we're going to stop it right now, and we're going to come back. We'll carry on working on our massive district up here. I was originally going to do like a big, um, like uh, not industrial, uh, uh, commercial. We're going to do a big commercial zone up here, but. I'm sort of thinking that it's not all going to be commercial. We're going to need something of everything up there. So we've got, like, this the next major expansion to the town there. We've got all the um, freight stations are in in place. Um, although I am going to keep the housing separate. We've got housing over there and we've got housing over here. This is all industrial. So here is going to be commercial and industrial and then housing. I'm going to add more housing over here and then more housing over this side. So we're going to keep the very much separate zones and we'll see how that kind of works out for the development of the city over time. Um, 
Not quite sure at the moment. I am seriously considering if this like dries out completely, we could do housing all along the bottom of that floodplain because you know what developers are like with floodplains. Oh look, there's some flat land that hasn't flooded for three months. Let's build some houses here. And then they wonder why the houses are underwater six months later. It happens everywhere. It happens in every country of the world. It's not just mine. I'm sure of it. It's not just my country that this happens in. But anyway, if you've enjoyed the episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.